All right, welcome back. That's some cheese, part of the Vendetta Sports Podcast Network. Today is Monday, November 21st, 2022. And today uh, features the first episode with my new apprentice. So, Jack, you are the first person to find this out. I have an apprentice now. An apprentice? Yeah. yeah. You have so a Jedi Council or something? Your... Or are you Wait, Sith what? Lord Trey? Are you Sith Lord Trey? I might be. <laughs> uh, Maroof, introduce yourself. You know, tell the people who you are. Uh, Maroof, live in Queens, New York. Uh, still in 11th grade right now. Uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Average that's all you got. Work. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the track team in my school. That's about it. I didn't even know that. That's good. Yeah. Do you think you could beat me in a race? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old and, I'm old and washed you, up. I think you could. I think you could. Maybe, maybe. Okay. All right. I just want, what are your thoughts on this Jackson law? On what? Do you have an apprentice? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. I feel like it's just another word for an intern, but it works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Yeah. Uh, so Maruf has been doing some of the FIFA videos. I don't know if people have been watching those, but yeah, the Ted Lasso stuff is coming out. So he's been doing some of those. Well, they're, they're good videos, good quality. So yeah, keep up, yeah. keep up the good we're, work. We're gonna train him to be an internet assassin. Is my goal. <laughs> good. We. It's always good to have those on your side. Absolutely. So, uh, he's gonna learn this, you know, broadcasting stuff. And then we're gonna keep moving him down the line as we go. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is phase two officially. He's on cheese. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, make sure to follow Jackson Law, by the way. He's got his new podcast, Quarters in Session. I want to start there. How's it going? Oh, it's going fine. Okay. Finally able to start picking it back up with mm-hmm. the NBA going on. Chick and I were supposed to record on Friday, but uh, I think Chick and I both were down with the flu on oh Friday. Oh, my God. You, so, you people are always getting sick. It's the South, man. It's the South. <laughs> it's just where we live. Okay. Uh, but uh, So Chick and I are going to get back with each other and then jared and i are going to record an episode on wednesday really wednesday morning yep that's good to hear. bright and early so it'll be myself and jared you know gotta get gotta get up early gotta get in with that aussie time it's late for him yeah. early for us but it should be should be one banger of an episode okay that we record on on wednesday so stay tuned um hopefully friday is when that that episode will come out good. so i figured that was a good note to start hey let's check in yeah no it's going it's going good okay done a few things with it on the tiktok too i had a couple videos that did really well they're trying to build the brand up over there i'm not as good at it as carl is though with uh with what he's done i uh, i I really like the uh the box score and the background stuff that he's doing with the shorts really good i like killing it killing it doing that too i see they pop up on my for you page obviously because we're friends and everything on there so everything that he posts will pop up on my for you page um but every time i see the video sometimes he's got at a minimum like 1200 likes and like wow. uh, like twenty thousand views on the so video. wait you're friends Crazy. with people that have separate youtube accounts no no it's tiktok it's tiktok <laughs> oh. <laughs> like you can be friends on tiktok okay like you can add friends on tiktok uh. like me and then the vendetta account that's been ran by like six people are friends. <laughs> yeah milo's in charge of it now yeah uh, uh, as of two days ago as of two days ago yeah okay Mm-hmm. Good for my right. moving on. Loaded, loaded three stars of the week for the Data Boys. Uh huh. Loaded, or I guess it's been more than a week, but loaded Data Boy segment. Third star, and it this is a this is a top tier star, I think. Uh-huh. Mars Van Gaming hit the yes. thousand subscribers. He's been pumping out those review codes. Yep. I mean, Mars Van Gaming, congratulations to him because thousand subs in 10 months is I mean, that's not just growth. That's incredible. That, no, that's in that's insane. That yeah. is crazy ten to months. go from to from ten months to go from nothing. You're starting from scratch. Yeah. To to that breaching that threshold, that that means you've not only you've hit the market, but you've done so in a way that is connecting with people and they're sticking with you yes. through it. And his Halo videos, dude, are, are really good. And I I've watched the one. I think the one that really kind of blew him up was the um, it was like the, are the Bungie games versus the three four three Halo games like are they good bad and you know stuff like that comparing those and everything 
um he he makes good stuff and i'm happy that it's great stuff it's listen it, it's it's just another dude that's on our side it's another killer that's in our in our arsenal you know mm-hmm. uh when when you're assembling the avengers you don't have them all with you the whole time they're out in their own parts of the world doing their superhero stuff i've been but saying when, that i can't do but this when the time myself. comes you know samuel jackson when the aliens are coming through he's got to call in the avengers and that's when the superstars come from around the world and they and they do their thing that's what we do i remember once upon a time i don't know if anyone actually did this but i re- recall saying someone screenshot me this mars man gaming is going to be a hell of a gem yeah no i remember it i remember <laughs> you saying that first one to a thousand subs we finally made it there <laughs> I wasn't even yeah, that. we that's like time. that's like seventh on my list well we'll get to it eventually okay, teaser we'll for go. later just just wanted to shout out Marsman Gaming because oh, every single time it. he puts out a review, I make sure to prioritize it as my video for lunch. That yep. day. So shout out Marsman Gaming. Second star of the week, month, slash, whenever the last time we did an episode. I mean, th- and this is a tough second star. I mean, mm-hmm. Jerry Walker's in Qatar right now. Jerry Walker's out here covering the World Cup across the globe. Unbelievable. Jealous, job. honestly. Shout out, ch- Gary Walker. Shout out. Big shout out. It's crazy because it's like, yeah, the United States is going to get to host a World Cup, the next World Cup. So, like, that will be that'll be like easier to get like vendetta people on the ground because it's the United States. Right. We all freaking it, it live here. More time. We're not ready. Yet. Yeah. But this isn't a freaking this is on the other side of the world. Yeah. I'm sitting here in the US, uh, the USA and Wales game is starting. It's bright and sunny outside and they're showing like the pregame stuff. It's nighttime over there. They're all going to turn in soon. I think there's what one more game left. No, I think this is it. Or was that it today? That was it. That was it. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're done for the day. They're done over there. It's, it's, it's again, can't even have a beer. I can't even have a beer and enjoy a soccer game. That's tough. He's out here. He's out here grinding though, covering shit. And good for him. And what an experience too, just to be, be around an event like that. Cause it's the largest sporting event in the world. I think they said it was in the Russian world cup, which was 2018. It was like for the final, it was like 1.14 billion people around the world were tuned in to watch the world cup final. Astronomically big and mm-hmm. an astronomically big dub for Jerry Walker. Congratulations. Yeah. And by the way, uh... FanDuel even sponsored one of his articles. So he's yes, profiting. I remember that the work that he's been doing. So, I mean, hey, that's listen, people, that's going to be happening a lot more around here. OK, it's just just a yeah. taste of things to come. It's it's kind of all happening super fast. And all of a sudden right now, it feels like. But oof. <laughs> so shout out Jerry Walker. I, yeah. I mean, I can't even believe he's there. I can't wait for his his uh, USA and uh, Wales recap when those finally go up and yeah, he's been posting all the videos. Those mm. shorts have been doing well. They have. So shout out Jerry Walker. They have. And he's getting way better on camera. Like he's been, he's on camera all the time. I give, Hey, hey practice we say it all the time. why aren't more people contributing to the YouTube channel? Well, Jerry Walker's out here making videos and he's getting better. That's the only way to get better. Yeah. So mm. first star of the week is you Jackson law. <laughs> I'm giving you first star of the week. Well, Thank you. I'm not even going to steal any words. I'm going to let you have all of the shine. Would you like to explain what happened? Yeah. So it's part of the reason why I'm in, I'm in my attire today. Okay. Um, uh, Just a big thank you to all the Dolphins fans that are um, out there. But this is, I finally made a video that Trey and I had been talking about forever doing. Yes. And it was just a, a video of keeping receipts on the hate the unwarranted hate of one Tua Tungaviola, quarterback, former Alabama quarterback, current quarterback of the Miami Dolphins. Mm-hmm. And just over the summer, over the beginning of the season, have just collected, saved all these videos. I think a lot of them got deleted, probably because some of them were saved from like third party YouTube accounts that didn't have the rights to like. Uh, the undisputed and uh, the first things first and stuff where I'd say right, we got plenty some of those clips, but there, there are plenty in the internet stuff lives forever. So I was able to go to Twitter. I found plenty that made for a nice under 15 minute video. And I was like, you know what? I'll be satisfied 
with with that and we'll just put it out there and we'll see how it does i put it up starts doing a couple getting like 30 40 views and i was like hey that's that's pretty good for like an uh, the first hour like it's not bad and then it's like it goes up to a couple hundred and then it's like i step away for a minute i come back and it's over a thousand viewers i'm like holy crap that's it's really good that's really good for us um by the time i had gone to bed last night um it was over ten thousand views and it had pushed us up over a thousand subscribers which is a big milestone for any youtube channel anybody that's on youtube knows that the the first 1000 is the hardest to get to but then it's like it's obviously still a hard grind after that but i was looking i even have it up right here um it's currently at 11,000 views closing in on 12,000 views actually it's at over 2,000 views 12,000 views excuse me 12,200 views and that video alone has added over 200 subscribers to the youtube channel Wow. I remember seeing the video yesterday, like while I was like working on the vendetta stuff, and I was like shocked because usually, uh, with our videos, we only see around like two, like hundreds of views, sometimes thousands, and when I checked, it was around like two thousand. So I was like really surprised and happy for the company. Yeah, it's just not just that, but I remember seeing. Oh, you can go. No, no I was just. Oh, no, jump in, kid. What do you got? What do you yeah. got? Go. I remember seeing like a lot of like community interaction with the like audience, which really made me happy because usually the even if we do have a lot of views, I don't see a lot of comments. But seeing that many comments like made me happy it, and shared more viewers long term. Yeah. And that made me feel good, too, because everyone everyone that was commenting was loving the video. Yeah. And I was like, that that made me feel good inside. I'm not going to lie. I won't I won't lie. Well, I'd say mo most importantly, there's a reason why there's a lot of comments. And it's the reason why, I mean, we exist. The reason why we exist is because we're done with all these people in the media that continue to spread all these lies. And this exactly. is just one great example. And now look at what has happened. So I don't want to hear this, oh, Trey doesn't know what he's talking about, or this does this kind of stuff doesn't exist, or that the media isn't doesn't have agendas. Like it's all nonsense. Yeah. It's all total fucking nonsense. Oh, 100%. And I even thought about this today. I kind of want to do a video just, just because these three analysts go hand in hand so much. I want to do a deep dive into why uh, Mina Kimes, Nick Wright, and Colin Cowherd yes. listen to them when Tua is at Alabama, their analysis of him, and then listen to their analysis of him after during his rookie season and in his tenure in the NFL. It's embarrassing. It is, it is night and day on opposite ends of the spectrum. Well, I, I – On what they're saying about him. I don't have any respect for Mina Kimes either. I mean, anybody that mocks Josh Allen and then mocks Tua, I mean, you just shouldn't be able to speak about football. Like, at some point, you should just – I'm retired. She's a big Herbert guy now. Which is Even, fine. Yeah, but it's like I – in my quest of finding – videos to put in there i stumbled across and i saved it so for a special occasion of her talking about the dolphins have to take to a tongue of viola and that oh like God. the sexy option of herbert isn't always the best option those were like that's almost crazy. she should almost be her words almost her words and this was on that um oh it's whatever the show that Dan she should used to have before he left espn um it's like the, it was like the morning show or what, whatever sports nation no it wasn't sports nation yeah it was um that guy from miami right yeah 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 Levitard. He... yeah 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 dan levitard it was right. um i never watched this stuff yeah I, yeah but it was it was the show where it was like him and it was like his dad or something like that okay oh what's the name of that i can't remember it came out like two or three. anyway highly questionable that's it yeah she was on an episode of highly questionable and that's where she was talking about it because she always appears on Levitard's podcast now. That's embarrassing because they're because they're good friends. Like if I did that, I would I would literally sell the company. I'd retire. <laughs> like she said, I really in, I seriously in, would. in that segment she was talking about how the Dolphins. She was fully sold on Tua, and the Dolphins needed to go headlong into Tua, and that Herbert was not the pick. Yeah. Tua was the pick for Miami, and then now that they're both in the NFL, she had completely flipped. 
The craziest part to me about this whole thing is like, why didn't anyone actually do any research here? It's like, I just don't respect anybody that thought he couldn't play. Like, if you want to say he's, he's, you know, maybe he's a tear down or you, you want to say he's not better than this guy or he's not better than that guy. Sure. That's your opinion. But the amount of people that just came out in hordes to be like, he sucks. He can't play. They, they acted like he was Trubisky, like that bad or worse. Right. They acted like he was worse. Uh, yeah. No. Howard said he was worse than Goff. Right. Yeah. It was like in the, in the video, there's an extremely he, long he was segment. Worse than fucking Mac Jones. Yeah, no, it like in the video he took uh, Mac Jones, uh, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield. Uh, he took him over to a, uh, and then, and then, and then I kid you not, and I had to, I had to put in the video that this part was not frozen because I had zoomed in on Cowherd's face. Which, by the way, everyone in the comments is saying that I have to call him Cowturd now. So I guess I'm contractually <laughs> obligated by the people, by the, like by the power invested in the people. I have to call Cowherd Cowturd now. But he, like Joy Taylor asked him if he would rather have Tua or Jared Goff over the next three years. He sat there and had to really, really think about Embarrassing. Just <laughs> sat there just. Yeah, like, like like that, and I had to put it over his head. I was like, "This is not frozen. I promise. This is this is live. <laughs> this is still going on." And then finally, he's like, "I think I'm gonna go with Tua. He's in a better situation, so he'll probably win more football games." That was his reasoning for going. With the that. history books will show Trent Dilfer and Trey Dalbert were the two draft people that were in on yep. Tua. That's yeah. it. Which That's the comment list. section did did say to read Trent Dilfer also. Oh yeah, he's been it. He's because he's the one that actually runs those elite those elite eleven camps. Mm-hmm. He's in charge of all of them. So it's not surprised he's you know smart and intelligent, and he also yeah. he also ran to his personal pro day workout too. Well, I don't know what to tell the the doubters and the haters. It's Trent Dilfer and Trey Daubert, yeah. two infamous Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, which makes sense why Dilfer is is brought on is talks about Tua a lot now whenever uh, he goes on to the herd. Like I think That's the insane. last. Like two or three times he's gone on. Colin has asked him about Tua, and then Dilfer just gushes over him, and then Cowherd's just like, mm, "Yeah, okay," and then they just move on. <laughs> well, we know he's a fraud. We have uh, we have several videos. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. What was what was funny too is that so uh, Dan Labatard is a huge Dolphins fan, also. So he talks about Tua a lot, and he's and he's bought into Tua. And he kind of has like a Pat McAfee type style podcast where the producers and everyone in the background can talk a lot as well. And they all kind of bounce and feed off of each other while it's, you know, in in the Pat McAfee show, it's, it's his show, but you've got everyone else that's like behind the glass and everything, a similar situation here. And and they were all talking. They're like, Oh yeah. We, cause like one of them was like, we've talked about it before. Colin just does this for, for clicks. Like he just, he just he's he sees that Emmanuel Acho is the is the darling of Dolphins Twitter. See, so that's now, bullshit to me though. By the way, I wanted to, I want he's actually on my list. I wanted to bring him up. So okay, we well, we'll get let's to him go now. ahead and talk about Emmanuel Acho. He doesn't get to be the president of Tua. Like I have more of a claim <laughs> on Tua than he does for this, for one sole reason. He said the Dolphins should not fire Brian Flores, and if they had not fired Brian Flores, this season is totally different. I agree. So. The fact that, like, Acho can't be the leader of Tua because he doesn't have his best interest in heart. I do. I said Brian Flores was a jackass and deserved to be fired. Just so that's on the record. So Emmanuel, Emmanuel Acho, he's just not the leader of Tua. Like, that's just, that's wrong. Like he, I agree. He, like, he can, he can praise him, and we thank him for his support and courage, but he's not the leader. No, nah, dude, I'm telling you, there is, a, there is a need for leadership in this Should I take community. over? It's or you yes. take over? Yeah, I mean, you're you're the draft expert here, and if well, anything, that was a, you... that was a question I had on the list. So, th- is there a difference between pro draft Tua and Dolphins Tua, or would you have supported him even if he wasn't the Dolphins quarterback? Because I saw some Josh Allen hate in there, and I'm not really about the Josh listen, Allen hate. Listen, that was that was 100% Tua propaganda. I will admit yes. that that was 100% Tua. I don't mean- 
and I Dolphin don't need to propaganda. see the Josh Allen hate. I, I'm, I'm, listen, I like Josh Allen. Hey, listen, I like Josh Allen too. Here's the thing: what what that Josh Allen stuff was in there for was that if you're going to hate on Tua for some things, then you can't ignore it from other quarterbacks as well. Like if you are going to put Josh Allen on this massive pedestal and you're knocking Tua for almost interceptions, then you got to look at Josh Allen's almost interceptions. Everybody has almost That's, an interception. Ex- exactly. That's that that was the whole point. The reason why Josh Allen gets picked on is because he's in the same division. Mahomes and, had a fuck ton, but it, that was in your video, but Mahomes that, last year, he definitely had a ton. Yeah, I know. And there goes Nick Wright, you know, again, bringing it down, but you know, don't talk about his homeboy that way, you know. How dare you? How dare you? Um but, but nobody's saying Mahomes isn't good. Exactly. No one is saying that Mahomes isn't isn't good. He's 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 the best quarterback in the league right now. I, I will, think Allen's I will first. admit that. That's fine. What? I think Allen's first. Yeah. One A, one B. But that's I would say. most people probably don't think that. I I think people will put Mahomes up there just because of the Super Bowl. Fine. Fine. Fair. But the the whole point is the the people that came out in troves to to act like Tua couldn't play. It's crazy. It's crazy. ridiculous. Crazy. Like I, I feel like we should abandon those people. Like exile. They should be. They should be left behind by the tribe. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> totally yeah. agree. Like I don't. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, the the new Rings of Power show. I I never finished it on a on a um, on Amazon. But even there's like, by. yeah, no. There's but there's like these these little creatures. They're supposed to be like hobbits. But they're not hobbits, and uh, they they they're like you know oh we're a community we're fun loving and everything but the second you're like an inconvenience then they leave you behind yeah we got to leave them behind you know just leave them. So do you think I should go for the the two of presidency? Is that open? Yes. Okay. So, in in the hierarchy of claims, you obviously have a big claim because of two of. Of pre-draft. I'm not pre-draft. saying I have to be the president either. I'm just saying I got to be in the mix somewhere. You got to be in the mix. Yeah. Got to be in the mix. I will be, I will be your like, I will be your vice president. I will be your okay. connection to the fan base, to the people. Okay. I'm what, I'm the, the cool vice president that's hip, that's awesome, and keeps you in touch, like, you know, with what the kids are saying these days. Great. You know, what the vibe is. I like that. I'm your ear to the ground. That's going to have, have to be my next post. There you go. Do we have anything else on Tua? Um, I mean, he's gunning for that MVP. He's got to be at least second <laughs> right now. What if he wins it? I, I don't know what I'd do if he if he wins it. I, I still I still think Mahomes obviously is the favorite right now, just because he's he's just balling. Um, it it annoys me a little bit when people put Jalen Hurts above Tua right now, and this is not a knock on Jalen. Hurts had a great year. But he's had he's had a a great year, I, absolutely. But and again, uh, saw this from Cowherd today, Cowherd, um, <laughs> that he was praising Jalen Hurts. Okay. And the stuff that he was saying about Hurts, about him being, you know, a little bit undersized and everything like that, it was similar stuff. There's my co-host back there of the Coors and Session podcast, the Union Pacific Railroad. Um, <laughs> Everything that he was saying about Jalen and it's like, oh, he's overcome this and this and this. It's everything that he has a knock on Tua and why Tua can't succeed. I do. I mean, I think Tua is better than Hertz, but Hertz has come a long way. Hertz has come a long way. No, he has, and I'm not knocking that against him. But it's just, it was just funny because uh, Cowherd is like, he's six feet, and he's like, but he's overcome it. And, and different things like that. And he's absolutely having a blast of a year. He's like, they fixed the offensive line. They've got another wide receiver. And it's like, it sounds like another Alabama quarterback. And then he brings up the fact he was benched in college and had to transfer. He's like, yeah, who did he get benched for, Colin? Who did he get benched for, Colin? I got two things. I got two things. All right. Hey, I always thought this was going to work because, number one, like, I do think these SEC athletes, they just translate better than everybody else. So when he runs an RPO system and he's got all these speed demons out here and he's completing like 75% of his throws and going monster and the most efficient passer in college football history, maybe don't that that guy. Like maybe keep an open mind to that guy can play. Maybe. Crazy idea. It's pretty crazy. Second thing, and you kind of just touched on it, like there's more than one way to win in the NFL. Like I believe the universe has a great way of humbling people 
all the time. And this idea that you had to be six foot six and run the four seven and have the rocket arm. Like Drew Brees, that was my comp for this guy forever. He's going to go in the Hall of Fame, has passing records, won a Super Bowl. Like, you know, yeah, that was not every quarterback is going to look the exact same. I mean, even Cowherd was pushing that narrative when he was at Alabama. But then something changed when he got to the NFL or right before the draft. He was like, oh, I don't know. Cowards. Whatever. Cowards. Cow- cowards, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Next thing on my list. What does the th- thousand subscribers mean to you? How important is it to you? I mean, it's pretty important. Time. It's pretty important. It's validation that what we're doing is. I, I is- more so want to talk about the YouTube channel because, man, what are people doing? I mean, they're not trying on there. They're barely trying on posting. They're barely trying on posting. Yeah. But they're not trying at all on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, hopefully it gets people to start doing some more stuff for it, show them that. There is a market out there, and maybe um, we can turn some long-term fans out of some of these new subscribers. They seem to enjoyed what they've seen so far. So hopefully, put the out. Vendetta's similar... founding father will always be pro to it, Dolphins fans. That's true. That's true. We need to push that push that agenda. And I said I said that in there. I said that in there in the video as well. So, um, but yeah, you know, I think if if everybody was uh, was able to. Uh, post a little bit more like something once a week or something like that could go uh could go a long way even if it's something like what i do on sundays which is the um yeah. just a 60 sec- 60 second reaction to a football game like you don't you don't even have to uh you don't even have to uh um God, like, do it all like yourself you, know? you just you just sorry <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I think it was a door on her. <laughs> Next time, mute your mic. Talk to her. Yeah. Um. Anyway, where was I? I lost my train of thought. Anyway, yeah. Um. Like you could just record it and then just send it to Milo with a few tags. Yeah. Like that's that's all you have to do. Crazy. It takes less than than five minutes, and you can oh. you can move on with your day. And I know, like sometimes it's like. Sometimes I have a hard time getting content out and everything, but it's like that's like the easiest thing to do if you feel like if you if you're feeling personally bad that you haven't done anything in a while, mm-hmm. just do a 60 second video on something. You can send it over to Milo. It takes it's it's less time than writing a blog. It's less time than creating a massive YouTube video. Just send it in for a YouTube short. It'll go up on YouTube and it'll go up on TikTok, and then you can kind of feel better about yourself and hopefully when time clears up you can get back to doing more content isn't that funny now isn't that funny i brought that up for one very 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 i don't even know where to go with it i brought that up for one reason uh little chickster's no longer here with the company did you know that who little chickster oh i figured unbelievable like the audacity on this guy to oh my laptop breaks what did you just say you can't you can't record a 60 second video you can't do any of that stuff right like i don't want to hear the laptop breaks there's always <laughs> things that you can be doing like always. even if you're not typing even if you're not video editing even if you're not designing graphics there's always something you can be doing it's just one of these and 60 seconds that's it yep so Super easy. i don't i don't really have any sympathy for the little chickster uh who i guess do you do you know the story or should i tell it i don't know the story okay i don't know the story either okay so uh little chickster has done nothing the point is he's done nothing uh so as someone that does nothing you would think hey maybe pick and choose your battles might be a thought pick and choose your battles for someone that is only here because his name's chickster so uh pick and choose your (laughs) battles right uh so they put out their little fight card post or whatever, and little Chickster complains that his contribution isn't in the post. Garrett responds, hey, you didn't turn it in on time. That's why it's not in there. Mm-hmm. He bitches and complains even more. Oh, I think about, I did. I think I did see this. Bitches and complains going. even more about how, oh, you couldn't squeeze me in. It's like the self-awareness. Really? <laughs> like the self-awareness. 
I call him out for it, and then he quits. Hmm. Like, that kid's a loser. He just is. It's tough. And you know what pisses me off the most, Jackson Law? He has loser vibes all over him. I didn't even want to bring him back. I made him do this. I made him do the little Godfather thing. You're going to owe me a favor. You know, that someday and that day may never come. I mm-hmm. may call upon you to do a service for me. I had that speech with him. He still did that shit. Mm-hmm. That don't sit right with me. You know, that's like that dead dog walking forever. Yeah. That's, yeah. uh, how's Chickster feel about it? I don't know. Doesn't seem like he really cares. Well, I mean, it's I his own fault, so. I just, I couldn't believe that. I mean, what the fuck is that? That kid is brain dead, beyond brain dead. Yeah, I, I, I just, I kind of got that a little bit, I guess, from the, Whew. from our draft that we had. <laughs> Jesus fuck! I mean, we don't even need to go into that, but man, he is. That kid's just not bright. So, ripping the coffin to little chickster. Mm-hmm. I mean, this this idea is coming, but when we really make it big. He'll be a name on the Viking funeral. <laughs> we burn the boats. He'll be a name on there. Are we gonna get like actual like mini boats and like go out yeah. to the ocean and just yes. push them all out? Yes. Yeah. Everyone that's been fired for yes. gosh, that's gonna <laughs> it's be fantastic. Great. I can't yeah, wait for he'll, that. He'll have a boat. He'll have a boat. Uh moving on. How's the God of War stuff? I know you're more of a gamer than I am, so I figured you'd have some critiques for me. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I've only um, watched the first episode. I haven't caught too many of the streams, but they're uh, really entertaining. I There's love the one out, though. Yeah. Um, and the post uh, isn't even done for it because I don't have the thumbnail. Yeah, but the uh, the shorts are they're hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, father behind you. <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty good. That's, I was angry that day. Yeah, I could I could tell, and you're taking it out on your son like a, <laughs> like a good father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun playing the game though. It looks like a lot of fun. I wish I had a PS5. I'd 100% uh, buy yeah. it. I just saw someone get one in retail the other day, Jackson Law. There might yeah, be it's in- oh my gosh. There was a guy in front of me. I was getting the God of War game. He got it on retail in front of me. Wow, that's yeah. that dude should have went and bought a lottery ticket for the $2 billion uh, probably. Uh, Powerball that just went because he probably would have won that too. <laughs> probably. I'd be a dangerous man if I won the Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> would you still would you still do this? Oh yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. I don't have anything else. That's uh-huh. that's true. You gotta do something Wait, in, what would I do in your time. Uh-huh. I don't know, just like eat steak. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm work hungry out. all the time. Work out like six, eight hours a day. I mean, how much more can I crank it up? I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> did you see the kid's eyes that was yeah. awesome yeah your boss is is swole do you think he i brought swole. it like that he is he's big unk in these parts <laughs> i work out a bit too okay i try to work out like every day get in like around 40 minutes a day i could turn you jacked i'm a little toned if we, if we were doing better how tall are you Tall? Uh, I'm five eleven. Yeah, we get how how much you weigh? But you're a track runner. I'm one sixty seven. I just started track. You weigh you weigh like the same as me basically. Oh, See yeah. this time, mute your mic, and then <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, Jackson Law. Let's keep all it going. Right. Uh, just to further that point, like I want competitors. Like, what the fuck would I do all day if Chickster's not talking shit to me? You know. It's That's like, true. I want people in the room who are smart, talking shit to me. Let's be better. Let's figure this sports stuff out. Like, what, what would I do all day without this? That's true. That's true. You're right. You're right. So I'm, I'm not like the freaking barstool sports people where I hire a bunch of yes, man. I want smart people. Yeah. Be better. Yeah. And you know what? You know what's been happening? I don't think he'll care about this note, but I can tell Scott now respects my football opinion because he's asking me about draft prospects every week. I love <laughs> it. I personally love it. I just, I just thought it was funny that he uh, he's been really hammering me about draft prospects. So, credit credit to Scott. I think we're gonna make hilarious. some good videos. That's the hilarious. Michigan Center, by the way, is my one of my flag plants. 
hopefully that'll be a video that me and Scott can do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next thing. Uh, did you read my Joy Taylor post? I don't know if you fired like if this fired you up as much as it did me because she's technically in the dolphin sphere. Yeah. Um, I saw the post and I kind of like quickly ran through it because I I saw that it went live earlier, but I was doing work and then started watching the World Cup game and I was like, oh crap, there was that. I didn't watch the video of what she said. But I got I know the gist of the article where you were just like she was calling out Jeff Saturday because he's now the interim head coach for the Colts mm-hmm. and she was upset about something. And I, I feel like and at least by your post, she was being kind of like hypocritical well, about, she, about it. She was upset. Her like my point was her thoughts are valid. Like Jeff Saturday getting that job is fucking crazy. Like he has no coaching experience. Yeah. No shit. But her whole point was, it's not about who you know, it's about, or it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Well, you're Jason Taylor's brother. You don't think that helped you? Yeah. Like, you're 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 going to not talk about that at all during this two-minute rant. Like, that's a yeah. little crazy. Yeah, because she, because that gets brought up, like, like, quite a bit that she is related, like, she is a sibling of Jason Taylor, Hall of you Famer. You don't think that helped her at all? I'm sure, like, like is, that's like I. You want to attack Jeff Saturday? Je- go attack Jeff Saturday. I don't care, but at least like be honest about yourself. Yeah, you're gonna attack. Him. Yeah, and that's not to take away from anything that she's done. No, that's what I analyst. said. Exactly, but having Jason Taylor as a sibling it doesn't hurt. You know, no. if I was at, Jason at Taylor's all. brother, I would be the general manager of the Dolphins. <laughs> probably, probably. I mean, they, I'd probably uh, be working for him at least at bare minimum. Yeah, I mean, Dan Marino does something for them. I can't yeah. remember. I would have a does. paycheck from the Dolphins if I was Jason Taylor. You though. definitely, you definitely would. Yeah. So I just don't want to hear it from her. Yeah. You, we want to talk about people who deserve jobs. Trey Dalbert, five thousand three hundred seventy-one posts in four years. Who's topping that number? We want to talk about people deserving jobs. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Okay. Next thing on the list. What else we got? Uh, do you want to do your end of the year review now? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just figure why Knocks not? it out of the way. Yeah. Why, why not? not? You're here. It'll cover the last 20 minutes of the show or whatever. It'll yeah. give people an idea of what to do. Uh, I make it mandatory. You got to do your end of the year mm-hmm. review. I think I should at least speak to the person in a face to face conversation one time, right? I don't need to yep. hear from everybody all the time, but I at least got to hear from you once in a while. So I think yep. it's just, you know, important to check in on people. So Jackson Law, uh, how would you grade your performance this year? That's my first question for everybody. Um, well, I uh, hit a bit of shot clock cheese there at the end. <sighs> Beautiful uh, pun addition. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think it was definitely solid. I would go... But see, it's like, I feel like, and this is going to feel like a brag, but it's like, I feel like I don't brag on myself a whole lot. So it's like, I'm just going to settle for like a B plus. Okay. For just, just because like the stuff I've, I've done, I felt like has been pretty good, but it's like, I want to do more of it. Like the, the qual like the quality is good, if that makes sense. But it's like, I want there to be quality and quantity. And I think if I could just increase the quantity a little bit, then we would be we'd be sitting sitting pretty. I agree. How would you grade my performance? Your performance? Yeah, since I don't I don't technically have anyone reviewing me, so. I mean, you run the company, so I mean, no, that doesn't good... count. I mean, yeah. a lot of people run companies. Does that, well, doesn't mean they're good. Yeah, I know. I was gonna I was gonna give you an A. Let's give an you an A. a. Yeah. Okay. Is that high? Yeah, I mean it's not an A plus, but it's higher than what an A minus. What are we doing? I mean, I honestly don't know, which is which is why I'm leaving that room there for just like some some sort of wowness to okay. to to come out of there. You know, got to got to give you some room to grow. Has I mean, anybody start- has anybody stood out to you this year? Like, wow, they're doing a great job on the team. I've gotten the same answer for a lot of people, so I'm going to share who that is next because they didn't make the stars of the week, so. Or month. 
however we'll I have to it. I have to think. Let me bring up let me bring up a roster real quick. Bring up the roster and then I'll I'll talk about mm-hmm. who's been the most complimented. By far, without question, out of all the end of the year reviews, the most complimented person, Mark Izzo. That is that is a good one. That is a good one. Um, um I mean somehow our WWE coverage is better than everybody else's. I don't know how it happened, but it is. That's that's true. So let me see. Um like people really compliment his stuff. Like he's he he writes the best previews, the best post game stuff, the best No, he 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 does. Yeah. And I don't I don't watch like wrestling or anything and it's I don't either. It's good stuff. Um so like him, obviously like we talked about him earlier, Jerry Walker, you know. I I'm I love his stuff. And yeah, like you said, I I love it when he's on camera now. He's definitely a dude that I'm tuning in. Uh, to to watch, he freaking but, dropped his nuts all over that World Cup preview, <laughs> dropping random yes. facts. I mean, he had everything. It's crazy. He even had notes. He's he's just listening just, off all the nineteen ninety six World Cup. <laughs> like, how the fuck do you know this, man? It's just. I mean, I get it to a gr- degree because every Sunday night football, I'm and and not only that, but it was like him and Jared were going like in depth on. Uh, other, cricket, w- cricket, yeah, yeah. cricket. <laughs> Listen, I don't understand the game of cricket in the slightest, and they're putting out content covering. Jerry the- Walker also beat me in fantasy hockey. That's the the first loss I've had in like twenty five weeks. It sounds like he's a superstar. He's the superstar of the year. Okay, and I, I really like uh, Sophie Sargent's work. Oh, I think she's the oh, one who worked on the shorts. I really found myself laughing at the God of War shorts. So I, I really what think... you should be doing is trying to figure out what she does. Yeah, she's the goat. If you can, if you can learn half of what she knows, you're going to be very valuable. I can guarantee that. All right, Jackson Law, what's your goal for this year? We did, we did accomplish the, the subscribers goal. We we did accomplish the thousand subscribers goal. That was my goal coming in. Yes. To this year. So what's your and goal for this upcoming year? This my goal for this upcoming year. Give me, let's, give me a couple. Blog related, YouTube related. Let's whatever. see. YouTube, I want to be by this time next year, I want us to be in between two thousand to twenty five hundred subs. So that's that's double growth again. That's kind of what we've well. done every year. I think um, we gotta shoot for five. That's yeah. That's like the bare minimum of what I want. Okay, let's set the goal. Let's set the goal. Five k. Screw it. Let's five. Five k. Five k subs this time next year. Let's make it a by thing. the end of, by December twenty three. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's plenty of time to do that. There's a lot of football left, which mm-hmm. is where I think primarily uh, our big opportunity is going to be because i feel like the the youtube sphere for football for the nfl and really for college too is not as oversaturated as the nba is now obviously i'm going to continue to work with all nba stuff you know and doing the podcast and doing my best to grow that podcast because it's good for us as a company to have an NBA podcast. I agree. And I would love to be the person in charge of that, which I kind of am right now. But if we could put forth the same amount of effort into doing a similar thing, but for the NFL and for college football, which is, which is why Carl and Cervantes have a nice little, following of their own for college basketball because it's mm-hmm. not it's not oversaturated oh like it's the, very undersaturated it, i mean exactly I, I was trying to like think of ideas that we could like where the fuck can i find college basketball bloggers because if we can just supplement their show with good blogs exactly so that's the that's the base that we, we need, need like to... five college basketball bloggers that aren't carl and cervantes exactly um and i think from I'd love to have a fucking college football recruiting guy, but I know that it's impossible. It feels impossible, at least. That's tough. Um, but I just don't trust people, you know. 
Yeah. But we get we got people coming in here saying to a stink, so we gotta we, Yeah. I had a, I I threw I had put R of kind of called him out in the in the uh in the video. That was his post that was in there. The two was not. Hey, he has Justin Fields now. He has Justin Fields. Who I was also very complimentary of, by the way. You were. Yeah. You were that was was half of your rant. Yeah, that was half of your your rant about Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields. Any complaints? Any vendetta sports media related complaints? Nah. Come on. Not, no, Give no. me a complaint. I don't have one. Give me a complaint. Everyone oh, I hate is gone. Like they leave <laughs> quickly. So it's like True. by the time we get to this point, if there's a problem, it's auto, it's resolved itself. Do you think I'm ever the problem? No. <laughs> there's there's always a legitimate reason. I, I've I know. And then it's like anytime like something is going on, it just feels like a there's always a method to the madness. Yeah, and and I mean it's like anytime there's like a squabble going on in the chats, it's just like yeah, they'll get over it. It's fine. Like if if I think you're acting out in the chats or something, I'll be like ah, he's fine. This time tomorrow he'll be fine. It's no big deal. It's it's not. I like... also uh, tell people, hey, they're allowed to call me out, including you know, I'm not off limits. So yeah, I know you you and Chick are always fighting it out in the <laughs> in the comments. And I try to give so, him a hard time. So you know. He wants Vatican City and Madison or uh, Madagascar in the World Cup. Expand it, you know. He, he's all about expanding everything. College football oh, playoff. Make sure that uh, North Dakota State's in there. The are Wyoming. they even a? Are they a D one school? Are they, are they? North Dakota State. Uh, they're not Power Five. I was about to say. No, but no. No complaints. Uh, all right. Uh, what else? End of the year review related. What else you got? Uh, I got a couple uh, things. Okay, you go. Twitch you go channel. Then. Somebody's got to take over. Like, yeah. Need, the, the sports show's got to co- start coming back. I mean, something other than me gaming's got to be on there. Oh, You're I'm the a... Twitch guy. If, it, if, a code, if a code gets sent through, it goes to your phone. Scott, Scott requested that today. Yeah, I mean, but here's the thing though, is like I I love I don't, where this is about to go. What? <laughs> I can't wait to see where this goes. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just I was just gonna say that I don't know if I can uh I don't know if I can lead the, the charge as much on Twitch anymore unless it's like specific instances like So we need a gaming. Twitch guy, is that what you're telling me? I think we may need a Twitch guy. Jesus. What about Twitter spaces? Twitter spaces? Yeah. Uh yeah, that was a failure on my part. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll open. Uh, I'll admit to that. Okay. I, I just haven't had the opportunity to start them up again after okay. that one time. So, can we get the diamond in there? Like, I feel like he'd be good running those. He's already got the social media account. Can can he, can that be a challenge to him? Could be a challenge to him. Yeah. Nothing at night. He's on West Coast time. Probably midnight his time. He's probably up watching the most ridiculous shit. Well, see if he wants to do it then. I'm thinking that's probably the move. Milo's running the TikTok, I guess. Now I don't know what else he got. Anything? Uh, just like we've already talked about it. More consistency with need a better other vi- video team. Yeah, better video team need more videos, more content coming coming out in some shape, form, or fashion. Again, even if it's just. 60 seconds or less recording your reaction to something, mm-hmm. something, anything in the world of sports. There's always something going on. There's always something to react to. If you can blog about it, you can do a 40 second video about it too. Yeah. So that's it. That's your end of the year review. How many people do you think won't do it and get let go because of it? Six over or under six. Oh, that's too low. Too low? Yeah. I forget I how many people are in the company. Just... That. Eight. I think it's still low. Still? Ten. I think we're looking at ten. Yeah. Probably more. Wow. Well, they got like a month left. They got like a month left. So we'll see. I mean, it's, it's very easy to like stay here, you know? Yeah. 
There's a lot of people missing that I miss that I like. I don't know what happened to them. Kind of worries me. We'll find out in December. Oh. The only other thing I have is uh, there's two videos that I, I'm waiting to put out, but I can't put them out yet. So mm. I, there's nothing for me to say. There's two videos that you're there's waiting There's two videos for. that are coming. They're going to be big surprises, uh, one of which you know about, but I can't say it yet. So that's I all know I about it. What do I, I mean, everyone can know about it. I'd, I'd have to think about it. I'd have to go look at our. Uh... Okay, I think I know. I think I know. Yeah, I think I know now. Okay, but I can't say those yet. So that's okay. all I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max, okay. Do you have okay. any other okay. topics? We can close out. Me have any other topics? Mm-hmm. Uh, our TikTok. What about the TikTok? I feel like we could definitely grow using that. I've seen a lot of content creators like gain traction on uh you know on the for you page system so I feel like Why we you help out them. Milo. Yeah, I could need to run the account but help him out. Yeah, I could try. Good. Yeah. Anything I've else? I've I've tried to say that from oh. day one we got on TikTok. It's like, "Hey, let's let's try to do this, guys." Let's get shorts out there and everything, and, and no one listened to me. And then Carl started doing it for his podcast, and look what happened to to Jim Range. They've yep. they've blown up on there, and I'm like, see guys, see. Which again, he found a niche because I I never came across a lot of, still haven't came across a lot of college basketball accounts uh, on TikTok. I don't even watch it anymore. I used to watch it. College basketball? Yeah. No. Well. I'll start watching it more. It's it's starting to pick up now. It's There's games early. tonight. It's way too early for me to be invested. I I will definitely start watching it a lot more like in two months or so. Yeah, football. there you go. There once you football, go. like I'll catch a few games there you go. in yeah. between, but then it's like in like two months once football starts to wind down, like yeah. college football's done. We're in the playoffs for the NFL. Then it's like full shift over to college basketball. So that way I can get, I can get caught up on the prospects that are coming into the draft. Yeah. Sounds about right. All right, Jackson Law, that's it. We're good. Sweet. All right, make sure to follow Jackson. That is J Law 1995, I think. Yep. You're the kid's not on social media, right? Twitter? He doesn't got a Twitter. I don't know. Where should should anybody follow you? Do you care? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. While you're here, tell me what your goal is for the year. For the year, yeah, uh, your goal. I definitely want to uh, like help the company like prosper. I was, I know, like I did intern like in the summer. I was thinking like, I do think I want to stay like long term. So I was thinking like, with the interns in the summer, I could like help them figure out what they want to do and in turn like have more long term workers. And so like, you, you want to be a high up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I got a lot of things to show you. Mm -hmm. Excited for it. Okay. All right. Uh, Follow myself, Trey Dalbert. I know nobody really – I don't really tweet much, but um, (laughs) if you want to see my tweets, I'm on there. Uh, Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching, listening, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time.